Hey guys, I ran Normagen a hundred times just to test out my RNG and see what kind of loot I could make. So let me show you a trick if you play on Horde. You want to come over here to the Gromgal base camp over here in Stranglethorn Vale. There's a portal right here that takes you straight to Normagen. There used to be a quest involved. I'm not sure anymore. I think you can just come here now and zone right in and it ports you straight to Normagen. So I'm not going to go into a detailed route. You could kind of watch and follow along, but I've already done a video on Normagen. So if you want the detailed route, you could check that out. And I recommend bringing a druid for this, for the dream walk ability, and bring you a speed set and some speed potions if you have them. You don't need them. It just makes it to where you could run this a lot quicker. And if you're going to follow my route and you want to keep it under six minutes, you're definitely going to need a speed set. And I'll show you, you can kind of follow along with the route here. It's pretty simple. So there's always going to be a chest right here. And then you kill this guy and then you jump down right here. And you just keep following it down. Pretty simple run. Once you do it a couple times, you'll, you'll remember it. And then it's just second nature. I've done it so many times, I could probably do it with my eyes closed. So normally you would go in, you would kill all these, and then you would just run up and kill the boss. If you have a decent speed set, you could actually run the entire circle like I'm doing and kill, just get a few more extra mob kills. So I'd like to take a second to remind everybody to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future farms and so you're entered in the 10 million gold giveaway. And then you jump down right here after killing that boss. And you definitely want to run all the way down to the end here and kill this boss because he drops a lot of high-end patterns. And then you run back up the ramp. And you will turn right into this little alleyway here. I've also created an in-game community and a Discord for people interested in group farms and just for sharing farming tips with each other. The links for both of those will be in the description below. So there's either a chest in that first room or there'll be one in the last room. Kill this boss, he has a chance to drop in some really high-end items. And here's that chest. All right, let's go check out the loot. And we're back. That was 100 runs of Normigan. Let's take a look at the loot we got. So we'll start up top here. We'll go with the reinforced chain cloak. I got about seven of them. So I'll spread them across different servers. It's a gray item, but it's unique. It's got a good sell rate and a pretty decent value, about 5K each. It's kind of an ugly back piece, but we'll spread them out and see if they sell. Now I'll go over some of the plans and recipes I got. The golden scale shoulders going for about 12K on my server, but a region market value of about 60K. These are decent. I've sold a bunch of these in the past. And then just a bunch of low value ones, but they got good sales rate, so I always keep them because they sell. And then we'll come over here. We got a flash bomb. Says it goes for 450,000 gold on my server, but a region market value of 380 and a region sale average of about 12K. I'm not sure I'll get 400 for it. I'll post it, see what I get, and then slowly work it down. Then I got five of the discombobulator rays. Says they go for about 218,000 gold on my server each. Now, of course, this is all item value. Like, you know, this stuff has to sell first. But I'm going to spread them out and see if I can get any of them to sell. And then I got a flame deflector going for about 34,000 gold on my server. And then a Gnomish Universal Remote going for about 180,000 gold on my server. Looks like I already have one on my bank tune. So I'll put this one on a different server. It's got a really good sales rate. Dark leather gloves, some moon sight rifle, and that one to finish it off. Now let's check out the items. Got two vibro blades. Says they got a market value of 2.3 million gold. That's unrealistic. Maybe if it sat for a couple years, you might get that. Uh, it's only going for about 24,000 on my server. It's unique. It's a Normigan only drop item. It's a de decent looking little axe. Then I got four of the supercharged battle axe. Pretty cool looking little axe. They're going for about 31,000 gold on my server. We'll spread these ones out as well. 
And then I got two oscillating power hammers. Kind of a funky looking hammer. But that's another one of them Normigan only items. Going for about 17,000 gold on my server. And then I got four of the high tech super guns. Also a Normigan only item. But shares an appearance with a lot of stuff. But it still goes for about 8k. So I'll post them and see if they sell. It's a decent looking gun. And then I got two petrol spill leggings going for about 22,000 on my server. Um, let's see if we can take a look at them here. Not too bad. These will sell. They'll take a little while, but they'll sell off eventually. Then I got a Gizmotron Mega Chopper, about 73,000 gold on my server. Another one of those Normergen only items. Unique. Pretty cool looking sword. And then I got a ton of these dark iron leathers. I got 30 of them to be exact. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll spread these out amongst all the different servers I have bank tunes on. These sell quite, quite often actually. I've sold a bunch of these in the past. Um, if you look, you'll see I sold one for 38 gold, which is awful. That's what happens when people undercut to death. Um... But I'll put these out and sell them. So unfortunately, I didn't get the new item that was returned to Normigan. But there's always next time. And of course, you get a ton of silk cloth, wool, and a bunch of just other different like engineering material, stuff like that. So if we take a look at the overall price, it's looking like it's 1.9 million gold, which is about 190,000 gold per hour. Of course, it's item value per hour. I just say gold because that's what I'm used to saying. So 190,000 item value per hour which is a really decent farm. I definitely recommend coming and checking out Normigan. Well, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.